It's Gunboard time! Hello and welcome back to another video. So, uh, this is gonna be a new set of set dungeons. <laughs> yeah, good joke, right? Uh, but first, before I show you the way to it, uh, the Jade Harvester that is, uh, I just want to take a moment to correct something I said in my last video. It's a major error on my part, so it kind of went something like this. Uh, as for weapons, uh, it's there really exists no particular weapon that will really boost your damage in a main way. Like, no, nothing that... The only weapon I would recommend to use, if, if you can't get it, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it's mainly for toughness reasons, but uh, the one weapon I would recommend is Sacred Harvester. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, that uh, wasn't very accurate at all, actually, because it's a very, very good weapon to have. And uh, I've actually gotten it in my possession. Um, not that you really need it before uh, the dungeon, but uh, you know, still, if you're planning on climbing Great Rift, which this build is kind of meant for. So yeah, but with that out of my way, uh, let's go to the dungeon. Then you want to head to Act 4 and go to the Gardens of Hope first tier. Then you just want to head back here, to the to the kind of start of Act 4, uh, back where you fought that boss, which I never can remember the name of. And uh, when you get here to the to the arena here, you just want to go to the, the right corner, far to the right actually. And uh, there it is, the entrance. Okay, so let's go over the objectives then, shall we? Harvest 15 different enemies simultaneously 10 times. And this is the hard part uh, of the dungeon, in my opinion. Uh, kill enemies afflicted by both Locust Swarm and Haunt, 100 enemies. And this is the kind of freebie objective because as you go along the dungeon, this one will probably just complete itself just by killing stuff. Um, and notice that, uh, the thing that is worded here, like the harvest objective. It says harvest different enemies, so you can't just cheese it by, you know, go in and harvest a, a decently uh, huge group of mobs and then just do it again, because that would have been too easy. Uh, yo, and uh, oh, by the way, I will put up some images here showing what gear I'm using uh, and skills, all, and also the cube items, uh, to sort of, you know, help you what you want to be using here. Um, but other than that, I have some tips that may come in handy here. The first and foremost is to memorize the layout of this map. Because the map layout will always be the same. The, the positioning and the spawn points of the mobs will not be the same, however, so that's something you have to consider and uh, you know adapt to. But if you know the layout of the map, you can sort of, you, because then you know where to go and so you don't get stuck in corners and such because you, you can't really afford to get stuck too much or stationary be, uh, to be still too much in this because the timer is uh, rather strict and that's another tip I want to, to go over because don't be too stationary uh, you are sort of in a rush but you know you have to, you have to move along uh, but at the same time kind of take it easy because the, the most important thing you want to be focusing on in this dungeon is to get the harvesting done first. Because after that's done, uh, you're, just, you're just free to roam around uh, you know, speed killing everything. And then you can just flow through everything. So that's, uh, that's basically the thing I want to go over here. Um, there, I, I don't really think there are too many great items uh, to be used in this dungeon. Like, that will help you tremendously. Uh, the one item I would recommend is uh, the Vile Hive offhand, uh, because that gives you the Pestilence rune. But even still, if you don't have that offhand, you can just uh, equip the Pestilence rune on your Locust Swarm itself. Because, uh, as per usual with all these set dungeons, the mods aren't really <clears throat> that powerful, and generally you won't uh, die from them. So, so the, the, um, the toughness reasons from the Cloud of Insects rune otherwise is not going to be that important here. Uh, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's taking me a while to do this actually. Because okay, now, now I'm actually done with the harvesting objective. 
and uh, now I can just focus and uh, to clear out the rest without having to worry about you know anything so uh, what can I say more about this that hasn't really been said yeah okay so I would recommend which I'm not doing here uh, to equip the the what's it called the other rune on the haunt which gives you another spirit because it's not uh, so you can spread more haunts and more efficiently kill mobs because they have so low HP anyway so yeah but that's this dungeon in a nutshell here so I hope you enjoy this and uh, I will see you in the next video you have a good day and peace out